Hello there guys, it's me in Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 14 of Warcraft 3. It's been about a week since I've played, so some of that rust that I was just starting to shake off has probably come back. Uh, we've got a couple more chapters left of the human campaign, so we're going to go ahead and jump right in, starting with chapter 8. And uh, we are now in Northrend, at Arthas's base camp. I apologize, Emissary, but the Prince is away on an errand. What brings you to this desolate place? By royal edict, you men are to return to Lord Aron immediately. Lord Uther has convinced the King to recall this expedition. <laughs> We're to just pick up and leave? That's correct. My men report that the roads from here to the shore are held by the undead. You'll need to find an alternate route back to your ships. To hell with the undead. We'll cut our way through the woods, men. Captain, why are the guards not at their posts? Well, my lord, your father had our troops recalled at Lord Uther's request. Uther had my troops recalled? Damn it! If my warriors abandon me, I'll never defeat Malganus. The ships must be burned before the men reach the shore. Isn't that a bit much, lad? Burned down to their frames. No one goes home until our job here is done. That's a bit harsh. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the quests. So, we must destroy five ships before the timer reaches zero. We've got 25 minutes to destroy five ships. Okay, fair enough. There was one quick thing that I did want to have a look at in this. Uh, it's this thing, game speed. By default, it is set to fast. And I wanted to put it down to normal. I think this is one of the issues that I was having. If you if you go into the game's options at the main menu, that game speed thing doesn't exist. Now, for some reason, fast is the default. And I think that's one of the reasons why I'm struggling a bit. It's been so long since I've really played RTS games that I was having a bit of trouble sort of keeping up with the pace of moving around the screen and everything. So let's go ahead and uh, have that on normal. So we've got some units here. Let's go ahead and group them together. Uh, what do we have? Where are we supposed to be going? For honor. Are we literally just working our way around the map? Is, is this even my base? No, these are expeditionary forces. Fight our way through the undead. I've come across a few mercenary camps up here. Perhaps we can hire a few of them. So basically what we've got here is a couple of mortars and basically Arthas and Muradin. And I should be using um, Muradin's uh, abilities. Probably a little bit late for doing it now with most of them being already uh, dead here. But So is there danger for honor? So basically this is one of those missions where you just have to get on with it and move. And we're looking for mercenary camps. So, okay, well, we're up against the clock, so I guess we can't mess around too much. Now, we want to keep out of the way here, don't we? We don't want to get too close, because we've got buildings that we need to take down along the way. That guy needs to be, like, one of the first ones that goes down. Let's go ahead and just see if we can kill you off very, very quickly. Uh, we, don't want to, don't, we don't want to be losing the um, mortars here. They're going to be very important to us. Luckily, the mortars are taking this thing out quite nicely. Okay. So let's go and do that then. And we'll try and use uh, Uther to keep everybody up if we can. Muradin, you can pick up a potion of mana, which you don't really need, but we'll grab it anyway. You're slowed, unfortunately. Oh yeah, we've got the building. That's unfortunate. Right, you need to go and destroy that. I did tell you, to, both of you guys, to destroy that. You're moving ultra slow, so there's not a lot you can do about it. It'll give us a little bit of time to recover some mana, so we should be alright. Now the question is, if you turn the game speed down to normal, does that also turn down the speed of the um, clock as well? Because if it doesn't, you're giving, I'm giving myself a bit of an unfair disadvantage here. 
So you've got most of your mana back. Let's make sure we keep these guys as fully healed as possible. There we go. That's going to be down now. So let's get rid of that. And yeah, I guess it's pretty much just a case of... We don't really have too much time to explore the map. For honor. Certainly. For honor. A sound I did wonder if that was going to... Um, Uh, use the mercenary camp to get new units. I don't know what any of these do. Light ranged unit, priest for healing, and standard warrior. Well, we definitely want the priests, I think. Get an ogre warrior. Well, I guess we can get them all. So, let's go ahead and do that. Can we get everybody in one group? Looks like we can. So I must remember to use my attack moves now because we need to be able to um, need to be able to have the priests heal for us. Of course. Now I'm not sure whether we need to go through this way or, or not. To be honest, of course. Obviously that thing's going to fire at us, so we want to sort of lure these things away. Luckily, the AI pretty much just just attacks you. It doesn't really, um... The AI just basically keeps coming at you. It doesn't ever turn back. It's like we are being attacked by uh, another building down there that's just out of line of sight. So we need to be uh, taking these guys out however we can. You're attacking that one from up there, which is not a terrible idea, actually. I don't mind that you're doing that. But, there's, yeah, there's that one there that we can't quite see. So you need to be attacking that. You need to be attacking that as well. Hopefully you'll get a line of sight where you don't get hit by it. No, you're too close. So move over there. You guys shouldn't be attacking it. Do you know what, though? We can do. Even though we're going to take some damage, we've got enough units here to just attack this thing straight up. So that is what we should do. Of course. So the priest should automatically be healing here. A sound plan. If anyone does get too low, then we'll just make sure a that um, Arthas. Uh, we'll just make sure that Arthas sort of heals anybody up that's getting a little bit low on health. That includes the priests. So we want this to go down quite quickly if we can. There's another one over there as well. There's quite a few units around. So let's just do some attack moves. I don't really like the fact that we're losing units here. You are at the back. You should be all right. Right, that's most of that done. So we need to use like your uh, stormbolt ability to sink the ship. There we go. Still more ships to deal with. Let's get rid of that. I guess we technically didn't need to take it down, but I feel a little bit safer knowing that it's gone. Certainly. Now everybody's pretty much at full health, but we are losing a little bit of... Um, yeah, I don't like things like this, you see. Things like this worry me. Of course. Now these are Nerubian warriors, so they don't count as undead. But let's just go ahead and get in there. use some abilities where we can. Again, make sure we just attack move on the ground so the priests continue to heal. Potion of healing. Muradin, do you have a spare slot? You do, so you pick that up. Justice shall be done. For honor. And let's just keep Certainly. keep on the move, I suppose. A sound plan. Now I don't know any of the Nerubian buildings. That thing looks quite nasty. Not sure I like the look of that. Um, Muradin, I don't know what you have, but can you attack these things? Um, oh, I'm going to make a mess here if I don't... Oh, no, I did lose a unit there. I wasn't quite quick enough. Come on, priests. Heal up. Do your job. And what's these? They're just random undead that we're fighting. 
Uh, claws of attack. Is that useful for Maradin? Um, probably more than the mana potion is. Let's get it on. Uh, in fact, actually, let's just use that. Because you're not at full mana anyway, so just use that and then pick up the claws of attack. I'm not going to destroy these buildings. I really don't know if there's any point doing so. Maybe there is. Maybe they have items and things in them. Got another item up here. Potion of greater mana, which I'm not entirely convinced that we need. Um, do we want to get you to use your mana potion? Not really. I don't think there's going to be anything here, so I'm just going to move these guys down and... Uh, of course. We'll just sort of carry on. We are still making gold and stuff, so... Let's get everybody down here. Get to the mercenary camp. And... Oh, Ogre Mage. Okay, well, that's uh, everybody there. Apart from the one that won't fit on the screen. That's the problem with these old RTS games. You can't ever zoom out far enough to do anything. I was having a play on um, Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle-Earth 2 uh, the other day, which is a really, really old game, um, but it is a great game. Oh, right, now we're sort of stuck here. I don't know how, how we get off. Oh, we get through here. Um, so, yeah, I was having a, having a go at uh, Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle-Earth 2, and again, that's another one of these old RTS games, and the, the, the camera is zoomed so far in. That it makes it very, very difficult to try and do anything. This is one of the things that I dislike about the older RTS games. Because obviously, they're designed to run on a much lower resolution. You can get them to run on a higher resolution. But that doesn't really solve the problem. It just zooms the camera in more, essentially. Uh, a mana stone. That actually might be more useful I'm for here. Arthas. Um, let's go and get rid of that um, temporary thing. Inventory is full. We'll just... Flipping use that then, I don't care. And just go and pick that up. I stand for the light. Right, there we go. Now we get everybody together. Okay. So I can see where the ships are. Uh, it looks like there's one over there, actually. So yeah, we've got to follow this path around. It's a very windy, snaky um, of course. sort of path here that's been designed to take the longest time to get around, to be fair. So we've got to go around... Um, Attack the trees with uh, mortar teams. We'll do it in a jiffy. Move your arse. So this was something that somebody did point out to me um, right a couple of days ago in the comments that you can actually attack trees and, and make a path. Because go. I didn't know that previously. But we can get everybody Come through on. here now. On our way. So let's get everybody through. Hopefully the pathfinding will um, resolve itself. And then we can just go and use Muradin's attack to take that out. I sound very gruff today, so apologies for that. I sound a little bit like I'm uh, like I'm slowly dying. I don't know what's going on there, but no, I, I do apologize. We've got another mercenary camp, which we can utilize if we need to. So we will get close enough to it just to trigger it. I think you have to be nearby to actually get anything from it anyway. Yeah, you have to be nearby. So, But that's not a problem. At least we know we've got mercenary camps there if we need to. Ah, now we might have a little bit of a bit of trouble with these because we might not be able to directly deal with them. Um, and now I'm sort of trying to um, work out what I'm actually doing here. Because we don't have too much that can attack these guys, which is slightly problematic. Um, let's make sure you keep healing there. They are taking some um, damage, but not nearly enough for my liking. Yeah, I'm about to lose more units here. Can we get a heal up on you quick enough? Just going to lose another unit there. Right, let's get everybody um, back towards the mercenary camp, because we know we need better units. Everyone's going to get a little bit bottlenecked here, unfortunately. Let's try and keep everybody alive if we can. And um, trappers, I believe, is what, what, what we need here. So 
So let's get everybody in. We've got one unit too many at the moment, I think. Oh no, maybe we haven't. A sound plan. If everybody could get over the bridge. The pathfinding in this game is uh, not the best. Arthur, so you heal that guy up. Okay, right. So let's get in here now. So the trappers should be able to take these down. I already had some trappers. Obviously, I wasn't using the correct abilities. So you have these nets that you should be using. So I had, I had the right units all along. I just messed it up, basically. Uh, potion of greater healing, which I don't think we really, really need. Um, you need to heal him up, though. Certainly. And uh, let's get the rest of you selected and carry on moving. For honor. Down to 14 minutes now. Of course. Oh, something weird's happening. Got a goblin merchant here. I'm not too sure how useful the merchant's going to be. For honor. I'm here to help. Let's just have a quick look and see if there's anything that we need. Again, the terrible pathfinding's not really doing me a service here. Can I help you? Um, amulet of recall, healing, mana, scroll of healing. They are useful, but I don't really need them, I don't think. So, yeah, these are, these are basically going to be the problem for us here. So let's get everybody back to out. Where do you, want us? Um, you guys need to take Thank these out. You. This is going to slow Catch. us down. Eat mortar. Eat lead. So if we can take these guys down. And again, the pathfinding is having a, a really hard time at the moment. Let's get to let's get to you need to, to back out of there. You are far too close. This battle is over. Now, why have these guys just suddenly decided they're all going to run forward? That's that's what annoys me about about this game. Units that should be out of range suddenly decide they're all going to just YOLO in. I want the mortar team to take that out without being hit by it, if that's at all possible. Or do we just have to run through? I'm not entirely sure on this one. Maybe we're just supposed to run through the middle and just sort of YOLO it. That could be a thing. But there's a lot of these to get through. I'm not entirely convinced that we'd have many of anything left. But that's what I'm going to go for. We're going to try and do that. We'll just sort of run through the middle. There's only two ships left. We will take a fair bit of damage. Of course. We'll try and get as much healing done as possible as we go. For honor. Oh, there's one unit down already. For honor. We've already lost a mortar team. Is there danger? Justice shall be done. Certainly. I stand well, most of them got down here okay. We only lost like one or two units so far. Well, let's get everybody down here. Keep healing people up. Certainly. Okay. That was definitely the better way to do that than to try and take those things out. Would have taken far too long. So we take the ship out. Only one ship remains. Of course. So it took a bit more damage there than we'd like. Betrayer of the light. I'm here to help. A few of these guys around that we could do without, really, but. One of these mages coming in. Those are things that we don't like. Uh, I'd like to heal that other ogre that's uh, taken a beating. We need another mercenary camp here somewhere. Uh, let's go and get uh, Muradin to be doing some damage here. No, that wasn't right. Um, a lot of people getting sort of um, slowed or stunned or trapped and, and whatever here because of these guys. But it's random undead, but... All right, let's just hit him with uh, that, because that'll do a lot of damage to him. Looks like we've got some more units coming in. Again, I don't think we need to take these buildings out, but I am tempted to get rid of them just to try and stop them producing any more units that might cause me an issue later. We need to wait for some of these slows and things to wear off anyway. 
And we do have ability. I always forget to do the upgrades. That's one of the problems that I have here. And uh, let's upgrade that as well. Okay, so we've got everybody. Um, everybody selected. Yeah, really do need another mercenary camp. But that said, we've got 11 minutes to go and get to and destroy the last ship. So I'm hoping we're going to be all right here. Uh, we don't have any priests left though, so that's a problem. We're down to a single mortar team as well. So providing we don't have to run the gauntlet through many more of these, um, providing we don't have to run the gauntlet through many more of these horrible things, I should have used my resurrection. I always forget to use that with um, with Arthas. So if you lose units, you can actually resurrect them and get some uh, some units back. But there again, we were on the move, which makes that very, very difficult. So let's try and get this down if we can. Still got 10 minutes remaining. I can see the other ship on the minimap. We're not terribly far away from it. But we are over the 20 minute mark and I do have limited time to record today. So I'm actually going to end this video here. When we come back next time, we shall carry on, get this mission finished and start the next. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Warcraft 3. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.